morning, Plum here, playing Gmail again. I'm going to have a browse around this time and try and find maybe someone we've never ever seen before on the channel. A new replay from somebody new. <laughs> so it can't be anyone that we've seen before. Um, so I'm going to probably go down to page two or something, page three. Um, this is the current page today. Had another one in from Declan, another one in from Valkov, and then uh, Miko here, friend in uh, Finland or Sweden. I'm really sorry. <laughs> You're in Finland. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. I'm sure if I'd been there and actually met you there, I'd know exactly which country you're from. It's one of those two. Um, I feel really bad about that. I'm really sorry. Um, he hasn't been playing Water Tanks at all for the last month or two. He's been playing Armored Warfare. And uh, he watched one of my videos and said he'd have to jump back in to send me a replay. So this is the first game he had yesterday, jumping back into the game. And he got HT12 done, personal mission, in his IS-7. <laughs> so um, he said he'd do it, and he did. Um, so maybe we'll see that one later. Maybe I'll do that one after this one. Uh, let's scroll down a bit and uh, see if anything jumps out. Come on, I'm looking for an unfamiliar name. Not you, Declan. <laughs> You've done a few. Uh, oh, we've seen Lin San. We've seen Mark. Uh, Abdul. Have we seen... Abdul? I think we have seen him on the channel before. This is Gentleman, isn't he? Gentleman 1991. Maybe it's only... I don't think we've seen one of his replays. I, I think we've seen his tank window. Uh, so, let's see what other matches he sent me. And then we can pick one that looks really really good. God, he's done some good games in his T62A. 4.5k spotting, spotting, 249, 4.5k damage done. I'm quite tempted by that one because he says he carries the game in that one. I'm just browsing down looking at them, probably as you are. Okay we'll go for this one I think. Yep, okay I'm not going to show you the screenshot obviously of the uh, result screen. It's on mines obviously in his T49 so let's roll over and check out <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman 1991's game. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it's the flying saucer of doom turret <laughs> with the. Uh, it's 152, isn't it? That cannon on the front of this thing. Yeah, the 152 millimeter derp cannon. That's uh, it's it. You kind of pull the trigger and kind of just pray a little bit when you pull the, <laughs> the trigger on this thing. You just hope that it's going to go to target if it's over medium or long range. I, I played it on the test server this machine and I don't think I hit a single thing with it. <laughs> I only played a couple of games in it but I could never get close enough to anything to just plant one in the face because uh, obviously it's a test server so a lot of things are in uh, tier sort of nines and tens I think the matches I was going into and it was hard work. Uh, he's in a full platoon here with some with some mates with <laughs> playing with Mighty Balls, <laughs> that's a good name, and uh, Nuclear Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> he actually hits it and he sets a fire as well on the AMX. That's how you want to start a game. <laughs> Look at all those targets, you must be weeping because the reload is so long on this gun. You've got to appreciate the size of the shell. It's 152 millimeters. The reason it takes so long to reload is because it's so physically large. I mean, imagine the loader has got to uh, put in a request for a uh, another set of arms. <laughs> to be able to manoeuvre that shell out of its racking, get it into the loader and uh, get the thing loaded. I mean, it must take at least 30 seconds, at least. Hard work. <laughs> Who'd be a loader in a tank? So they are, they are capping, they've got a lot of tanks over in the cap. they got three in there, only 42 seconds left to do something about it. Obviously you know it's a pretty decent game, you saw his email. We've already done 533 damage to the AMX 1375. We are now going to push around to the east of the map and do something about the cap. I think he's got a feeling that if he doesn't do something about it, they're just going to cap out. We have now got tanks over here getting shots on. Oh, can we get that shot off up there? He's waiting. Oh, he fired! <laughs> totally annihilates a T-37. That's what these shells do to light tanks. They just obliterate light tanks. That's why I'm always looking <laughs> for Hellcats. I know it's not a light tank but a Hellcat is a lightly armoured open top vehicle. High explosive hits that thing and it's, it's happy days all round. 
Who can we shoot now? Who can we shoot now? Can we shoot the T-34? If we can hit him... Come on, reticule. Oh, 335. That probably went to his gun mantle. It's absorbed. <laughs> Quite a bit of the uh, potential damage, maybe. Who knows how this mechanic works for doing damage in tanks. There's a lot going on when that shell leaves the gun. And when it hits the tank. All kinds of algorithms running in the background working out exactly what your damage should be. As well as Serb, just rolling a dice. <laughs> so we're going to push around. This is a good move. Change your position in this little tank. Surprise something. This was what this tank is great at. I mean, look at that. You might even get a two-tap here. <laughs> the explosive force of one of these shells going off next to a charioteer. You could take them both out, couldn't you? <laughs> if you land it right between them. He's being very cautious here because there's two charioteers around that corner. What do you expect him to do? Just go around there and get shot. Not a good idea. Hello. Oh, how does he do that? I could never do that when I was in my T-49. <laughs> it would never have hit. Oh, what crew skills have you got? Because... <laughs> I think they're helping. It's good, isn't it? He fought better off engaging those two charioteers. I mean, a couple of TDs. You don't really want to go nose to nose. I know he could kill one of them instantly, just vaporise it. But then he'd be on an epic reload, and probably the charioteer could probably get two or three shots into him, and he'd probably be dead, potentially. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the T61 is going to be dog meat. <laughs> Fire! Oh, only 181. See, I think that went into the gun mantlet as well. <laughs> Your shells seem to have this uh, perchance for going towards gun mantlets. Charioteer's now pushed over. He's on the far side of the hilltop. So now might be the time, maybe, to go in there and uh, do some damage. We've only got the one kill at the moment. Oh, that's 2,000 reported damage. Good mobility on this little tank when it gets rolling. Can he do the same shot he pulled off last time? The T-37 on this ridge. There's a Yag Tiger. Do not need to get hit by that. Lose half his hit points. Yeah, I'd go around. I I think that charioteer and his friend are probably concerned about the T-29, the Pershing, the Yag Pan. They've probably completely forgotten about you. So it's a good time to return. Shake hands, say hello. Make new friends. Yeah, it's a shame coming around that corner. You just get proxy detected by that charioteer. I guess, did you have the, the mod for zooming out further so you could see over the top of that hill? It is kind of cheating. <laughs> being able to see over the top of a hill that you'd never be able to see over. Ready to fire. Oh. <laughs> that was glorious. I didn't want to say anything, I just wanted to watch that. Got to run away now, and that's exactly what this tank does. <laughs> you plant your shot and then you run and hide. I <laughs> say, so please don't shoot me. Come on, Mr. T-49. No one needs to be afraid of this tank, because a gentleman is driving it. <laughs> he will behave honourably until the end. They've still got the Tiger 1 over at their base. The Yag Tiger's defending the cat. The Type 61 is now pushed over the top of the uh, hill in mind. He's looking down at the T29. I think that Type 61 might be doomed if he's right on the edge there. Oh, yeah, the Yag Panther takes out one of ours. And the Type 61 has destroyed one of ours. Suddenly, scores are level again. Yeah, he needs to get in there, buddy, and uh, hose something with that gun. Oh, there's a Yag Panther up on top of the hill. Is he waiting? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, I thought he was going to take that shot then. I was thinking he's got this uncanny sixth sense, uh, gentleman DZ1991, that a tank is going to come out. I guess he maybe figures now he can go in there and get this shot on this charioteer and kill it. Oh, this is pretty canny play, this. Oh, and a charioteer just decides to bail. It did look like a safe bet. He was able to go down there then and... Uh, not drive into enemy tanks, charioteer, so he's safe. Come on, come on, reload. I think we're still undetected. 
Sixth Sense hasn't gone off, and boom! <laughs> At last! Very patient, this guy, isn't he? The gentleman. Very, very patient indeed. He's playing with, he's playing with his head. <laughs> and not with his heart. Sometimes you just get a rush of blood. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, he didn't want to rush that shot. He has got patience, this guy. Bucket loads of it. <laughs> I would have probably pulled the trigger as he was reversing then, because I think he's going to see me, or he's been spooked by something, so... Oh, well done, mate. Well done. Four kills. Three enemy tanks over here. Yeah, I think we just need to get some intel now, find out where they are. So our remaining tanks, and we've got some good tanks. We've got the T-69, the T-34, and the SU-122. Who's got an absolute whisker of health. Where's that Yak Tiger? Is he coming around? I've got no idea. Obviously I have not watched this. This is kind of my thing now these days, I think, is just to pick a replay and just watch it. Not to watch it and then uh, work it all out, what I want to talk about or say, or about instances, or look out for this, watch this moment. I will do those kind of videos, obviously. Again, but, uh, Right now, I'm a really busy man all of a sudden, so um, I'm squeezing in videos whenever I can. I think the Yag Pan I mean, they're all stacking up in front of the Yag Panther 2, and the Yag Panther 2 is formidable when it's facing you, and... Oh, how do you deal with this? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this. He can obviously damage the uh, Yag Panther. He's firing high explosive. Ouch! Well, oh, that could have gone better, couldn't it? <laughs> this could have gone better. They've got three TDs left. Got two mediums and a light tank. Yeah, I'd bail, I think. I'd get out of there. Okay, I think we're going to go and try and get a cheeky kill shot somewhere because he can't take on that Yag Tiger from the front and you could play peekaboo up on that ridge line for ages and we found it this is the shot we want <laughs> the deafening boom of the 152 millimeter annihilates the side of Yag Panther 2 what clever gameplay this is by a uh, gentleman DZ1991 I'm gonna just have to call you G I think far too long a name to keep saying it <laughs> all out loud so G here, along with uh, T, Tuggy Bum, <laughs> Tugger Bum, that's a good name also. What a, a good team of names. We've got Kiss Mass, which sound, say it really quickly, it sounds like Kiss Mass. <laughs> it's the best team of names ever. Uh, G, come on G. You've got to get around behind that Yag Tiger and hopefully shoot him, preferably towards the tracks maybe, and stop his mobility so your friends can get around him. This is the only tank left now. He's played this so well, this match. So many instances where he he just thought about it and made the right choice. Going for the back of the commander's hatch. Hopefully, firing into there may well have uh, damaged the uh, commander and reduced his reload time and everything else. Oh, this poor guy's doomed, isn't he? This is all you need, really. A couple of teammates to distract. <laughs> One more. Boom. Oh, what did, what, what did our T-44 player go and do that for? <laughs> T-69 plants one in him, and in about 12 seconds... Come on. You can't turn around, can you, the Yag Tiger? He's got no choice but to take this, like a gentleman. <laughs> from from G. Nice, nicely played, G. That was really good. Game of World of Tanks. You could really see you thinking, then. It's nice when you see a game like that, where you see someone not taking the obvious kind of reaction shot and just pausing and waiting and then deciding what to do. Weighing up the odds, looking at the mini-map. Really good play. That's a good replay. Can you tell? I like, I like that. <laughs> it was good. Let's take a look at his uh, post-game stats that I saw just beforehand. Here we are to T49. Always a bit disconcerting when a uh, tank changes its turret so dramatically that it looks absolutely nothing like its icon that you get on the screen. <laughs> you think T49? That's not T49. What is that? It's the standard turret that you get on T49. Um, 
Look at that result screen. Jam packed with damage. <laughs> Killing tanks. He obviously got high calibre. And top gun. Ace tanker. Bunch of pins. Team scores. Make sure we've got it sorted the right way. Yeah, 1600 XP. Next best player, the Worcesters. <laughs> There's some good names in that team. Uh, 1100. And uh, yeah, he really brought that home. Uh, G. So uh, anything pertinent on here? Damage block by armor. Nothing. It was only that uh, the big yag at the end that planted one neatly and then took 500 of his hit points off. Uh, playing with a regular account, still took home 22,000 XP. And even on a regular account, over 3,000 XP taken home. 22,000 credits, excuse me. Uh, 14 shots fired, 13 direct hits. That is incredible with that gun. That's incredible. Really impressive because I couldn't hit anything with it. <laughs> I must put it on my to do list, get a T49 and. Uh, yeah, work at it because uh, it does look a bit more mobile than a KV-2 and not as big, <laughs> but uh, the KV-2 is Russian. Russian bias. Anyway, I haven't got time now to do another replay I'm afraid. Next time I shall also try and pick out someone we've never seen before on a replay and uh, then we'll come back to some more regular submissions because I, I get a lot from a lot of people that keep sending them in and I've got to reward them as well. They keep sending them in <laughs> and you see them regularly because they keep sending them in. If you send me one or two it's not as likely. So send me more and uh, you'll increase your chances. Simple maps. Anyway, hope you have a good day. Keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I shall play Water Tanks again real soon. Take care. Bye bye.